qualified in eighth. And they're here with a chance, maybe, to produce one of the great upsets in Raiders history. Yeah, you could see in their huddle in their, in their dressing room, that's where the belief is. That's where it's going to come from. They know it's only up to them. And Jack Whiten, he was very vocal in that huddle. This could be the last time we see him in a Raiders jersey. He's hoping not. This is really something. Does it get any more than Newcastle? The screaming jets are blaring. Everything's red and blue. The grandstands are shaking. I haven't seen an atmosphere here for years and years like this. How's the heart going, Joey? It's going, going. Does anyone reflect the values of the club more than this bloke? Tyson Gamble came from Brisbane. He didn't play in round one. He's been picked for every game since, and I reckon he's competed on every play throughout 2023. Yeah, he's all heart. He's shown a lot of class this year. I mean, now the competitor he is, but I've got to say, I've been blown away by his skill level, his passing, his kicking. His big thing is competes. The Knights are on a tear. They're looking for 10 straight. The Raiders are hoping to end the run. The winner lives. The loser says bye. Elimination finals footy for and gives it away now to Tapane. Up together, Leo! Hold here, Phoenix. Go and uh, they are ravenous, this Newcastle crowd. What an afternoon at the footy, and what a good run that is. Mariotta, part of uh, a patchwork Canberra Raiders pack without two of their absolute guns in Papali, Ian Horsburgh. Whitehead with uh, the carry on play number three now. And he was good, this lad, on debut last week. Hype up Portal. And uh, what about this for a, a running start for the Raiders right up the middle of the ground. They've made a stack of uh, yardage. It was Wolford and now Fogarty. He can stick up an attacking bomb and it's taken by the beast, Greg Marsu. One of the try scoring whizzes out wide. He's got 14 in 10 games at this ground this year. Up together, Arthur. I couldn't have asked much more from the first set of the game, the Green Machine. Now Dom Young. If, uh, if they bow out here, he'll be off to the Roosters. It'll be his last game for the club. Safidi, that's Jacob starting and Daniel from the bench. Scored more tries of any club throughout the regular season. 114 of them. But it's a strong, imposing start physically by the Raiders in Ponga. He kicks towards James Schiller. A surprise selection by Ricky Stewart on the wing. Just his fourth game of the season and tenth in his career. And Rapida maintains that fullback jumper this afternoon. Here's Kotrick. Schiller, I apologise. Played now to Frawley. Kotrick this time from the other side. Well, Freddie, we've, uh, we've talked about how great an afternoon it is in terms of the atmosphere. The conditions are all we hope for as well. Yeah, absolutely incredible. We've already had two Newcastle chants. We're only two minutes into the game. 17 degrees. Notice there's no hesitation from Whitehead when given the opportunity which way to run. The breeze is right behind the Canberra Raiders. Just watch Fogarty the way he's delicate with his kicking. Oh, that's the last of speed out the back off Hudson Young. Now Rapid is going to keep it alive. White is trying to get in there to throw a kick in. It gets to Frawley. And uh, the kick goes towards the post and over the back. Well, they've been on top early, the Raiders. That was a wayward kick. They've got the ugly game that they, they were looking for. A few offloads at the back end of that set. Fifth tackle. And that was Frawley that just couldn't get the, the execution on the last kick. Here's Jackson Hastings. We haven't seen him since round 23. And off to Bradman Best. What a year. An origin debut. And at 22... He enters the finals camp. Oh, oh big collision. Oh, no. Porto is in a terrible trouble. He tried to put a shot on Jacob Safidi and has come off in a bad way. Yeah, he goes low and he drops his head, the young man. Let's hope he's okay. As he hit the hip of Safidi, he gets oh. his head in an awkward position and... Oh, you don't like to see that. He hits the hip, oh. and then he's out. Well, that'll bring Emre Gula into the contest. He's up on his feet. Ho Hepa, Puru. And 
Archie. He's he's earned his money the last few weeks, Ricky. He was great last week on debut. He looks to have a real bright future. Unfortunate for the young man. It's a uh, that was a heavy knock. I'm still yet to see Callum Ponger inject himself into the game. What are you seeing in back play, Bill? You've been watching him? Well, he looks very vocal. He's he's very active. And he's still got to test himself with the contact. Obviously, he's carrying that shoulder and that AC joint problem that he picked up a fortnight ago. Is he holding it when he runs? It just feels like he's when he's running, that right arm just isn't Where moving. Yeah, passing and contact, that's where we'll see where he's at. Here's Leo Thompson. And Ramea Liz, he'll find himself in the New Zealand Test Squad at the end of this year. What a revelation he's been. Gamble now. Playing to Frizzell. Best field position of uh, the game here in the early exchanges for the Newcastle side. It goes through the hands, out to the left, and Fitzgibbon. And then Hastings down on one leg. That's the play we highlighted in pre-game. Hitting Fitzgibbon short. Ponga with a deft chip. Marzu trying to get through. Oh, and up high above them. He's almost carried this team the last couple of weeks in attack. And Tim Ockall. 120 tackle busts in the season. Right up there with the best in the league. Kotrick now. Play to Wolford and the way to Schiller. He's got a couple of NRL tries to his credit in the, the infancy of his career. Danica, already some breaking news for us. Yeah, nearly blow for the Raiders. We've just had confirmation. Hohepa Brew has suffered a Category 1 concussion. So that means his day is over and it only just began. Yeah, not the start they would have been uh, anticipating nor wanting given the absences already and Ponga draws a penalty on kick return. Well that's a great that's sign. By Joe. Callum Go Ponga on. took that, oh, no, that no. floating bomb and was spiralling down the field and did not hesitate to attack the defensive line. That's a really good sign from Callum Ponga. He's watching Jackson Hastings letting everyone know their roles, what's coming up. First set start for the game for the Newcastle Knights. Finals in 2020 and uh, 2021, but only lasted a week. Nine in a row. There's the third night's chant of the afternoon. Crossland fires it away. Gamble back to Elliot. Spoke passionately about the influence of Ricky Stewart on his career earlier in the week. And that sentiment has been put aside. Gamble into the line. Ponga now, short the best, and Marju! Try 21! Yeah, the Canberra Raiders just get their numbers wrong. Jordan Rapiner, he wanted Hunter Young to flip over to the other side. Beautiful play by the Newcastle Knights. All their key men involved. You see Jackson Hastings, Harvey Norman replay. Tyson Gamble gets the ball to their key men. In Kalen Pong, up beautiful hands by Best. But it was the Canberra Raiders that just could not get an extra number over to the right-hand side. All the threats for the Knights were over on that on that edge. And the Knights, they strike the first blow. And from that position, you need six defenders at least on those long shifts at the Telstra fan camp. That time they went through their plays with only five defenders from that wide field position. They ended up with the three on one on the outside. Bradman Best, beautiful catch and pass to the beast. Just watch this. Watch Bradman Best here, catch pass. Beautiful skill. Freddie. Well, I thought the Raiders defense cut recovered well. Elliot White is a little bit slow off the mark there and causes some space, but the winger, Nick Cotry. He just, caught, he just got caught staring at the ball and Bradman best found the pass. Nick just had to trust his inside and they recovered well enough, the Raiders, to make the play. You can see the padding, it's obvious on Palin's shoulder. He starts this on the left hand upright and it draws a pause from the eighth immortal at 6-0.
Russell with a, a blistering start with ball in hand. One chance down Canberra's end and a try on the back of it. And Marzi's 21st try of the year. So yeah. Dom Young has 23 tries this year. The new record for tries in a season. Well, Marzi's actually equaled the old one. <laughs> they, they, are, they are devastating. These two men out wide. The beast. Aptly no oh, ball play. Wow. That's confidence. Well, it's not a bad thing for such a big body. Defense. Defenders have to turn in on him. If you can find that pre line pass. Jeez, that's a boot kick. Oh. And Rapida full throttle. And back into the Knights wall. The fans like that. Crossland. And Elliott. Oh, oh penalty. They weren't square. Now off the kick off the four, Jacob Safidi wound up yeah. again. Happy guys. And Hudson Young tackled him. He got in an awkward position. What's Hudson Young here, the position he gets himself in? Oh, he's lucky he didn't get that head clipped on the hip of Safidi. Long kick for Tux. Right, They've made 50 right, metres with that. See, this is potentially exciting today. We've got conditions for attacking footy. And Canberra have been open. They're going to try and, and push the ball where they can. And we know Newcastle uh, a remarkable attacking machine. So we might have some points coming today. Fogarty working in with Rapid and out. We've got to find a way to get Jack White in the ball. He still hasn't touched the football. Already nine minutes into this contest. He's the most dangerous player. The team that was beaten last week, he had 200 metres and seven tackle busts. There's Newcastle chant number four. Good footwork. Mariotta. One of the young emerging forwards at the club. Fogarty, middle of the field. And Foley with a show and go. Good tackle. Frizzell and Elliott. There's Jack's first touch. It was a pass from dummy half. Fogarty dinks it in the air. Bradman Best has knocked this on. It's a double knock on. The first one's off Bradman. Where he tried to catch that up? ball above his head. AFL style Bradman. He had a good take on it. Maybe the conventional take on his chest. See there. He, he had a really good opportunity to get that ball. Catch it on the chest. It'd be difficult in that situation, Bill. Catch that ball above your head. Yeah, he had no momentum going into the football either. He was just standing still, jumped off two feet. If you can get that momentum going into the line of the ball, you can give yourself a better chance. All the talk of the Knights uh, attack. They're actually the fourth best defensive unit in the competition this year as well. Bradman offside. Timicol, quick tap. He's not allowed to do that. No, he was inside the 10 metres. No yeah. quick tap yeah, inside the 10. All right, they're going to repack the scrum. You're going to repack the scrum here. And this is a smart move Guys, by, stay onside. by the Raiders. But there's another infringement well, from had, the Knights. They'll, it'll be 10 in the bin. They had a trick shot here with with, uh, with Wolford sweeping around the back of Timiko on that right side. Break. Same play. Fogarty with a little bit of room to create in, but Bradman Best with an excellent tackle. Six metres out, Wolford, and Whitehead. Ponger in there. Fogarty for Mariotta. He's got a future, this boy. Highly regarded at the club. Tupanay, Fogarty, they rushed in through the hands. This is all play on. Schiller, look at that. He just looks up and sees Newcastle shirts surrounding him. He's put down on the 10. They're going to head down a very skinny blind side. What now? Six to go. Six more. They're offside. And Tupanay, he played 20 games for the Knights in 2013-14. Fogarty and Frawley and Timothy Timothy versus Bradman Best. He's going to go over. Release it. Does he? 
surely. Oh, the ball's come out. It's penalty. A flop penalty. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, there's a flop. The guys came in and they lost the ball. Yeah, Elliot Whitehead asking the question. That's three penalties in succession in a short period of time. Is this the fourth set of six? Surely they're going to score here. Now Gula. Jacob move. That set of six, five in a row. Fogarty working with Rapid and now White. Great tackle, Gow Guy. That's a battle, isn't it? They, they would have opposed each other in origin as well in those exact same positions. Fogarty working with Tapanay. Oh, trouble. He's an offload machine, Tapanay. He could create something for them. Hudson Young. The Knights untroubled so far, you've got to say, defending their line. Mariotta into some space. Over. Try. No. Surely. No. How did he not Coming get this five. down? Well, this I had is no try. Can you stop the The ball Matt? does stay up on that second effort. It's very close. I thought it stayed up. Adam Elliott. Leo Thompson there as well. Mariotta driving towards the line. And it's, it's oh, Adam Elliott. That's exceptional. Oh. Get it down. Oh. Hang on. It, it might have grazed the grass, Joey. Yeah, surely it's taken some grass there. Well, we might have to Just get... looking to see if Arta Mariotta gets the ball to the ground or whether his fingers are under the ball. What's the length of the, the grass being cut What's down the there, Freddie? What's the length of his fingernails? Well, he's held himself up. That's close. Going to look at all available angles here. Well, that's the best one. Oh. <laughs> well, the Raiders are all back on the 10 meter mark set up. So they haven't got their poker faces on. My goodness, that's some amazing scramble defence. Based on the referee's position and the angles available, Artem Mariotta's fingers prevent him from getting the ball to the ground. He's held himself up. Would be supporting the on-field decision of held up. All right, the Raiders are ready to get on with it. Still two tackles remain. Hey. <laughs> In fact, it is the last tackle now. All right, last tackle, time on. Go, last! Fogarty kicking Rapina, trying to get through. It lands with Cotrick. Can he get there? They've stopped him as well. Well, if there's been five, six, set of six, that's be up around 30 play the balls they've defended, oh, the Knights. I wonder what that does mentally for the Raiders. Well, Gagai, the big game specialist. And here's Dom Young, it's his 50th game for Newcastle today, by the way. 41 tries. Great strike rate. Gamble with the kick this time. And he's up at it. Always looks dangerous with ball in hand. Well, the Raiders have had 68% of possession. Shoot some uh, petrol out of the Knights. There it is, possession. What do you think back to last week, Andrew, down in uh, Cronulla? That, that was a... A very tense affair for what? The first two thirds? Until Sebastian Chris got sent. Yeah. They hung tough. Take it up. Leo straight. Tapanay. Last tackle, Dyson. Last straight. He'll play it inside the 20, and it goes 
Back to Fogarty, he's kicking for Rapa to pursue back on the inside. Up they go, Ponga, yes, what a catch. High above them, that was the play last week. Fogarty kicking for a Rapa to chase, but uh, they oh. Oh. Done. oh, tackle. White. White with a big jolting White. shot. Well, they bunched the Knights. The Raiders can really tighten their defensive line up here. They're all in one area. Oh, penalty. Oh, that's a, now in that position, I don't think they deserved a penalty there in Newcastle. With how much, how hard they work there, the Raiders, there has to be some empathy. Uh, that's a coach kill, that one. That was a great take by Kalen Ponga. Under pressure, Rapino was coming through under the, the sticks. Aggressive. He got the line of the ball. Here it is here in the replay box. Mm. He pickpocketed Connor Tracy last week with that same play. So the, the Warriors are waiting. The winner of this. Another remarkable afternoon at a capacity uh, crowd next week in New Zealand. Oh, Ponga going to work again. Beautiful ball and great oh, defence. No. He lost it. Well, he goes down a short side. Timiko rushes Ready, out on him on the play before. And takes the opportunity away for Callum Ponga to get into the game. He just doubles up down the short side. Uses his speed and footwork. Skips to the outside. Creates an opportunity for Bradman Best. And just a little fumble as he lands on the ground. But Kalen Ponga going down that left-hand side of the field. That's his favoured side. Looking bad for a shot. He's got the ability, Kalen. He can skip to the outside with great speed, but get those hands nice and soft to get those short passes on. It's a rare ability. Well, he's at his physical best, White. Big tackle previous set. Strong run to get the Raiders going here. And uh, now played by Hudson Young. Tarpanay's been busy. He is the real leader of the pack today. Police Adam! Right here, Jacob Phoenix. Tackled Jacob, by Jacob. Adam Elliott. Wolford and Frawley and Fogarty and Rapina. Good ball. Fired it to Kotrick. Kotrick's through. He's got support oh. there. He pulls through them. He slips a miracle pass to Good the pass. Oh, forward. And look who was there. Phoenix Croslin in cover. Bit of blood from the mouth there, Phoenix Crossan, but the desperation sprinting to the threat. Playing well to Raider. Look at this pass. And Cottridge, and he gets in the clear, but watch Phoenix Crossan behind the play. Oh, look at the sprint to get there. Looking dangerous, the Raiders down their right side. Incredible ball. Fractionally forward. Need some work from their outside backs here, the Knights. The big man in the middle. Oh, White oh. again forces it free. Hudson Young, oh. Shiver! They're in Canberra. And White with his aggressive, jolting tackle has orchestrated that. Look at the body language from the Raiders. Well, they hit the scoreboard, the Raiders. That's what they needed to do. They had to be next to score. Couldn't, get the, couldn't let the Knights get away. Any further than six points. Here it is, Harvey Norman replay. Jack Whiten off the scrum. Just gets his shoulder in underneath the ball. And then Hudson Young. Just a little flick pass to Schiller. They're creating their own atmosphere, the green machine. Oh. That's just Jack Whiten all over. Aggressive, just rips in. And he's had some big tackles. Today, there's one early in the game on, on Dominic Young. He's been ferocious, Jack White. Doesn't matter what position you put him in, you get 100% effort. And look at that for a shot. Boom. That's Dane Gagai. He's seen all of this before. And James Schiller, who probably wasn't expecting to call up for the first week of the finals himself, slotting into that left wing position, has scored Canberra's first. And they spent plenty of time down this end of the field. 
I think the numbers in the Westpac red zone were 14 to 1. They needed some points, the Raiders. Not much positive reinforcement for Jamal Fogarty here. And with this southerly breeze, this is the easiest kick in the stadium for a right footer. You just put it out on that right post. He's nailed it. A finals try, and the Raiders are right in it. Six each, sure. Oh, great contact again. Can they maintain this rage for 80 minutes? That's going to be the question. Look at the Westpac red zone. 14 play the balls to one to the Knights. And you felt, Billy, it was important that they cashed in with some points given the possession they've had. Well, they needed to for their belief. This man's having a, a great start to the game, wrapping up. He's that right side of Canberra's humming along. And then Tarpanay on the back of it carries for 15, 16 metres. Another power set by the Raiders. Goes to Fogarty. Marzu position, and he's surrounded by Green Jump as they pick him up and drag him. He just stayed in. Now Bradman best. A little bit shell shocked here, Newcastle, along with the crowd. They've taken the crowd out of it, the Raiders. Up together, Henry. Only three wins against top eight opponents throughout the season. In fact, the, the scoreboard for Canberra against a top eight opposition, it's 27 14 on average. So they've been largely uncompetitive, but they, they are right up for the challenge here today as Frizzell plays it just shy of the halfway and Gamble kicks flat angle towards touch. That's a good one. Yeah. Slows the game down a little bit. The big boys for Newcastle can get their breath. Sort of a little nervous, the coach. A great kick into the breeze. Gets it low and hard. Just to slow the game up a little bit. They can get their breath back. The Knights. Brad. Yeah, it was a classy kick by Tyson Gamble. And on the other team, he's been very impressive, Jamal Fogarty. When I spoke to him before the game, he talked about the wind and kicking with the breeze, about being delicate, not kicking too far. His kicking has been perfect. Then the goal kick, of course. Offside, Jackson Hastings. Another booming touch finder. Mariotta. He's had a fabulous start. I need to look a player. Mariotta. Strong and powerful. So is Gula. And the Raiders find themselves up near the 20 once again. Tapanay, Ponga came rushing out. No hesitation about his defence there. Just to the right of the post here. Rapana, short pass, forward pass. Well, he fades off his pass here, Rapana. When he passes, as a ball player, you've got, to, you've got to be heading up the field. He passes and he's running towards the sideline. Just watch how he runs towards the sideline. You can't fade off your pass. Got to be heading upstream. You can see he's facing the sideline. They're punching away at that same side of the ground, aren't they? Mm. Taking that gap between Bradman Best and Jackson Hastings. And they're getting some joy. Where they're getting some joy is the middle of the field. Jeez, the big boys are rolling forward. Canberra, they're forward, led by Tarpon. 
Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 20 plus years. And this is footy country. We're right in the, the middle of footy country here in Newcastle. Where this home team has given the locals so much to be optimistic about, but they find themselves in quite a struggle here this afternoon, oh. and the beast gets levelled. Well, they had words after the forward pass, those two. Maju and Elliot Whitehead. There's a bit of feeling out there now. He got rocked, Greg Maju. Oh, I haven't seen that. No, that doesn't happen. We've never seen him get, get bent like that. Daniel Safidi on the ground now. And Gamble, another flat kick. Schiller hustling back. And Rapa to trips up before he meets the defence. Can the Knights keep them down here? They've been struggling for fuel. Roslin tried to put a shot on. Once again, 62% of possession for the Raiders. Oh, the metres gained. Just short of double. Tackled by Frizzell. Oh, boy. He's off to Leeds following this season. So another one whose time at the club nearing completion. Maybe not. Oh, what about that? That he'd fire that out of a cannon, Jamal Fogan. Oh, well, he's hit him again there, Elliot Whitehead. He's gone in hard again on Marju and rocked him. Yeah, we're starting to get some fatigue into the game now. And for the Newcastle Knights, they want to keep the ball in play. And get these long kicks, make the big Canberra Raiders forwards turn around. Oh, young. They didn't make as many metres on, on their last set because they had to go back first. He got stung there, Dom Young. He goes for Adam Elliott now. We're right in the middle of McDonald Jones Stadium, Hastings working with Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Ponga, down a short side, kicked back across them. Rapina, oh, Daniel Safidi got down there and nearly contested it, but he took it and fairly well under pressure there, the veteran fullback. Hudson Young, over the other side of the field. They're well on top, Canberra. Well on top. Timacol. They're just running hard. Well, it's just that extra possession, their petrol tanks. A full. And at the moment, the Knights are really struggling to handle this go forward from the Raiders. Now, Tom Starling's on the field earlier than we're used to. And Trey Mooney, that player in 17, playing it now. So Ricky's using his bench now, in the first half of the game. He's normally kept the few up his sleeve till later in the piece. Another good kick there by Fogarty. Put it really close to the, the try line. They're in good position here, the Raiders. They'll tighten their line up, make it really hard for the Knights to get out of their own end. Can you put a points value on this, this breeze, you reckon, Bill? Really strong from the south. Gagai. Oh, mistake. Well, well, this is what the breeze gives you. Gives you an opportunity to put the ball down the other end of the field and put some pressure on your opposition, and therefore, you're a chance of getting some errors. And Dane Gagai coming up with the second error of the day. Oh, the Raiders would love a try here. They got away with one then. That was that was right. That angle there, you could see the hand of 17, Trey Mooney, in there at Hudson Young. He's back home, Hudson Young. He's born and bred and grew to Brinkston. About an hour up the road. Wait, Caleb, let's go. Wait, break. Tom Starling to boot at Newcastle. Two played one game for the club in the NRL. White. <laughs> Frawley now. Hudson Young. In line with the left hand upright. Jack Hetherington and 16's on the field. Starling through Tarpana and Fogarty. And a one on one tackle by Bradman Best. He halted Elliot Whitehead sufficiently to allow. The reinforcements to come in, but the Raiders are hunting again here. Tabernay, short to Mooney. 
gamble around the legs. Frizzell up top. Starling through Fogarty and then up and ah, oh, it was dropped and Marju's got it. Marju racing, Marju v Kotrick and a few others coming on the scene as well. The Beast tries to turn them inside out, he gets up to the 20, he's tackled by Whiten. But he wants to get up and play this quickly. Canberra scrambling back, Hastings sent it to Tyson Gamble, then to Dan Gagai. Gagai v Frawley, Gagai in the corner scores. The Knights on the counter-attack have shifted the game back in their favour. Well, they think they have they've no got Gago out, Hudson Young. Is knock on. Knock on. Well, Gagai thought he scored. No, he's dropped it, you can oh, see on his face. Hudson Young, he's the player. No, oh. he's dropped it. Wow. Dangago remains in the field of play. Just need to see if he loses possession. Oh, the fact it bounces. Dangago knocks the ball on over the goal line. We have a decision. Extraordinary oh, no. effort by yeah. Hudson. Yeah. Do you think Billy should have caught and passed, drew, drew and passed it? Well, he got to the line to Dominic Young. He got to the line if he. What an opportunity. Greg Marju streaking down the left-hand side of the field. It's a foot race. Kotrick, Marju, and it was Jack Whiten who comes from the other side of the field. Makes a try-saving tackle, and then they just put some passes together, the Knights. Gagai, what an opportunity missed. Gee, dare I say it, there's a, there's a bit of origin mentality about that chase by Hudson Young. He got a couple of games in the Blues jersey this year. And he just did not give up. And Whiten. Yeah. This is unbelievable finals football. The Raiders despise the outsiders. They just could not win coming here. No one told them. Here's Solo. And he's another local boy from Raymond Terrace. Spent five seasons at the club. 20 odd games. Hudson Young rapid. Oh, Tom Young. Critical tackle. Now White. Oh, I can't escape. The clutches of Gagai, who'd be smarting. They're off again down the short side. Rapino back to Frawley. There's green jumpers everywhere. Frawley kicked. He's wrapped up in the in goal. Ponga. Oh, they're running downhill at the moment, the Raiders. Tyson Vazell's down. Yeah, Kalen Ponga slow to get up as well. They have got all the momentum, the boys in green. And it's through Jordan Rapiner, his left-hand side. He's creating all sorts of problems. Freddie? Well, the best thing about their first half is they've kept this crowd out of play. You notice when Marzu took that intercept, the whole grandstand, everyone in the whole joint stood up because they haven't stood up for the last 15 minutes. Mm. It's been all the Raiders. He's going short, yeah, Kalen. Oh, it was pinpoint, but it's taken by Mooney. Trey Mooney for the line. He's got there. Wow. The Raiders lead the game. Well, it was a perfect kick by Kalen Ponga. But the Knights, they were all out of attack. They were get, trying to get the ball. And they forgot to defend. And Trey Mooney, young man off the bench. Harvey Norman replay, pinpoint kick by Kalen Ponga. And then Mooney just finds himself one-on-one. -on -one. Adam Elliott, he gets down nice and low. And the Raiders, can you believe they're in front? Oh, they can. Are they looking at uh, an escort here from, uh, from Jack White on Dominic Young, which at first look, it didn't look like it was anything out of the ordinary. He's another young gun, Trey Mooney, lined up for New South Wales in the under-19s origin last year as Frizzell comes for a rest. You can just see by the reaction, everything good has been 
uh, embraced with enormous excitement by all the Raiders. They've come here believing they can do the impossible. Yeah, try confirmed. Well, this is exactly the game that the Raiders wanted. They wanted to drag the Knights into a dogfight, a low-scoring affair. And they've hit the front with seven, seven minutes to go before half-time. Well, Fogarty nailed his first attempt from wider out. The best goal-kicking percentage in the Premiership. This Raiders team. Fogarty. He stabs at it, and he's missed it right. to six the Raiders on the road with uh, no form to speak of against a team that's looking for 10 straight 10 six seven away from half time Danica Tyson Frizzell has just come from the field with a head injury so he's undergoing the assessment it has been classified as showing category two symptoms so he'll be undergoing the protocol and will likely know a decision during the halftime break thank you Danica Another good scurry and plenty of metres here. Starling within 11 metres of the halfway. And Rapina has had an immense game. Well, the completions, 17 from 20. All, all the field position has been with the Raiders. I to think how much all this defence has oh. stunned to the Knights. Look at the forwards down there. Solo and Frawley, but... Agula was waiting for Ponga to run back as well to try and flatten him. Here's Dom Young. And Gagai with a couple of crucial errors in this game and had the chance to score in the corner but had the ball knocked away. Matt Croker's into the game early. He's lost the ball. Wow. What? Another chance here for the Raiders. Five and a half minutes to go before half time. Matt Croker just loses the ball as he gets up to play it. Cheers, been a wonderful weekend of finals action. House on Friday, two packed houses yesterday, and uh, well, not even standing room here at oh. McDonald Jones Stadium. Rapana, he's pulling all the tricks out of the kit bag. The Savo now Solo, that's a solid tackle. Again, Jordan Rupper. Yeah, they're attacking Jackson Hastings, that side of the field. Trey Mooney, an unlikely try scorer. Is there another one coming? They're only 11 metres away. Frawley now, Whiten, closer to the accident, who's run behind his own man. Yeah, that was a tactic to get Jack Whiten into the game, get him across to the other side of the field, use his running game. Here's a testing kick. Here's a contest. Kotrick uh, knocked it back, and Margie cleans up. It's a Knights knock on. It's going to be a goal line dropout. He's got these right all day. Jamal Fogarty, his kicking's been perfect. Brad Fittler highlighted it earlier. Here's another one. He's got it right on the try line. Kotrick created the contest. And they well, put Bradman Best into touch. Well, on this short dropouts, everyone's got a job. I think he's going to go long, Tonga. Just 
right to Hudson Young. And he tears back. Three minutes in the half remaining. The way this half has panned out, Newcastle would be satisfied to be only down by four on the scoreboard, but Canberra, they believe and they are creating. Can they nail another one before the break? Fogarty. Whitehead. Oh, we can get it away. Rapid is there. Rapid keeps it alive. Starling. Mooney. Starling. Fires it. Right and dropped it. And he just thought about what he was going to do with the football before he caught it. Jack. He was thinking, do I catch pass? Do I step off my left foot? And use my running game. And he forgot to catch the ball first. Beautiful play here. Starling fires it out to space. You can just see he was just stepping off his left foot before he caught the ball. Well, with this wind, this really strong southerly breeze, and the Raiders, all that field position, had 63% of possession. Adam O'Brien, even though they're down by four, he'd be proud of his team. With that possession and win, they could be up by two, three tries easily. Well, what does he say at halftime, Joey? I think he says back his kitten game early with this breeze and just back your defence first 10-15 minutes and reverse the roles put the pressure on Canberra in field position Big game. that was a nice pass and Timiko is getting right up in front of his half yeah. in those shifts yeah. Jackson Hastings is down and he's I thought it was a push up as well. Jackson is he holding that ankle yeah it's the same ankle. It's that ankle. He did say before the game that he wasn't 100%, but it's a semi-final to have to play. Well, that's the risk you take when you, you come into a game like this. No clune on the bench. Oh, it just gets flicked around the back. But you're right, Timiko and also Jack Whiten are flying out of the line at Kalen Ponga. There's space inside them for their back rower. If they can get into that hole. Last nine weeks, everything's gone Newcastle's way. There's hardly been any adversity. They weren't under stress hardly at all. Going in at half time, this has been their biggest test, test in the last two months. Starling thought he'd pitched a marker offside, but uh, no call from Ashley Klein, our referee. Well, they, want to, they want to be awake here. There's 40 seconds left in the half. That's right, Mooney's been strong. All these unheralded forwards are having the games of their life in, in the case of many of them, the biggest game of their life. White now, away to Schiller, he tiptoes down the sideline and gets another one for the Raiders. This is extraordinary. Well, many have been questioning Jack White and playing in the centres, not Ricky Stewart. Have a look at this play. They're all out on this left-hand side, but it's the state of origin and Australian centre, Harvey Norman replay. Jack Whiten gets the ball off Rapana. Beautiful catch pass, does enough to engage Dom Young and puts Schiller over for his second try of the afternoon. And the Raiders, they extend their lead just on half time. What a play. Jack Whiten just engages Dom Young enough. He goes for the intercept. And Schiller, he tiptoes down the sideline. He's got a double in a final, James Schiller. His 10th career game. Second try of the match. Well, the, the crowd's shell shot. Number two, James Schiller. Actually, half time couldn't have come quick enough for Newcastle. Just, they're probably wishing it came 10 seconds earlier. This is quite extraordinary by Canberra. Everything against them. 
personnel history. Ball. But this is for a 10 point lead at half time. Fogarty with a lovely kick. Well, hands up if you anticipated this. Canberra, 16. Newcastle, six at half time in the elimination final. Canberra richly deserved this 10 point lead. It's a club that has provided some of the sport's best ever teams, man for man. But a win for this unheralded Raiders side today would surely rank among anything those famous Canberra outfits have achieved. 10 points of difference. And with that injury to Jackson Hastings, I'd imagine Phoenix Croslin would move from, from dummy half to, to halfback. Kurt Mann will go on and play dummy half. Phoenix Croslin came through the system as a halfback from the age of 14, 15. No bigger game for him to bring out those tools which he's learnt over that six, seven, eight year period. But it comes down to this man, Caleb Conger. Well, they've got to give him a chance. Eight errors in that first half. They've got to get themselves into the game, get into the arm wrestle. And Caleb Conger will get those opportunities. 40 minutes left in the season of one of these teams. Canberra have been stoic. The Knights have looked shell-shocked. They've got to keep this crowd in the game. Now, Crossland's in there to dummy half. And Tyson Brazil, who went off for HIA in the first half, is back out there. Well, Kurt Mann's playing five or half down. Puts even more pressure on Kalen Tonga with no Jackson Hastings there. Broke up, buckled in a good tackle. Kalen will do a lot of the kicking now. It's a midfield ball. Now the Knights wanted to catch it and it bounces kindly for Rapana. Put down inside his own 20. His contract now. He was only back in round four that the Knights were, were behind against the Raiders at this ground. They were down 14-8. They come back and won 24-14. to This is all like good carry. Fitzgibbon and Hetherington in there. And Gula. They punched down their right side all that first half, the Raiders. Jackson Hastings now got Kurt Mann. I doubt that Kurt Mann and Bradman Best, Bradman Best have defended with each other at NRL level. And it'll be a big test for that left side defence for Newcastle. Oh, another big shot. Oh. How physical have they been? Emre Gula and Bradman Best. In fact, Jamal Fogarty told Brad in the pre-game, well, we've just got to come out here and be as physical as we can. Well, someone's just got to come off the back fence and bend the line. One of the big boys, just roll forward and scatter the defence. Set the tone for this second half. scatter them, Joey. Jack Hetherington's your man. Well, they need someone to do something out of the ordinary to inspire not only his teammates, to bring the crowd into play. Because at the moment you cannot hear a boo out of the, road, uh, out of the Knights fans. Here's the chant. They realise. Here's Mooney. They have been amazing through the middle of the ground. The Raiders have just eaten up the meat. It's starting. And Gula, and over to Forley and Rapina, and now White, who tried to cut back off the left foot. Just slipped over as Gamble got over there to cover him with the tackle. Now Fogarty. Oh. Is that a turning point? Yeah, there's the first error off the boot of Jamal Fogarty. And seven tackles set. 
They'll get in some good field position here the Knights. Marshy bumped away from one, but Imre Gula envelops him in a bear hug. And now Young. Very bunch the Knights. Big shot again, Whitehead. Oh, that ball's loose in Hetherington's army. Just managed to maintain control. Crosslet. Gamble underneath and Croker. They go over the halfway. And Mooney the tackler. And now Gamble playing out for Ponga underneath for Frizzell. Well, he wanted to offload. He gets it eventually away to Crossland. Now a backhander to Kurt Mann. Mann tries to slip out of the tackle. Fogarty brings him down. Tackle number four, Crossland can run. And Daniel Safidi. 28 out from the Raiders line. Gamble now, he's shaped on in the first half. He kicks out wide where Dom Young is trying to negotiate a passage. It's not gone. And it's in the arms of Marzu. And here comes the crowd because here come the Knights. Whoa, it's about to kick off. Gagai's got in there. Gagai versus Young. There's a couple of firebrands. But this is what the Raiders want. And they're going to come here to, ag to agitate, get under the skin of the Knights. And he's he loves doing that, Hudson Young. He's got to get a cool head here, the Knights. Well, the Knights need to put all their energy into their football. Well, well done, referee. No penalty. Just play on. Let him go. Matt Croker. If they could score here after half-time, Newcastle, it would be massive. Oh, here's a thunderous chant by the Knights fan. Short pass, Fitzgibbon. It was right on the borderline. Crossland rushes in. Hedrington. Great defence. Rapiner was right up in his grill. Gamble for Ponga. Back, back, get up. Frawley with a good tackle around the legs. Crossland rushes in again. Tyson Gamble, they all overran it, so he goes back to Croker. That's broken down badly. Well, don't simplify it. Kurt Mann. Dummies. Keeps it alive. Back to Crossland. It's the last. He tried to roll it through. Oh, dear. Oh dear, Emre Gula gets it, and they, they had to do better down there. They've had very little ball down that end of the ground. Yeah, that's a sign of not having a number seven on the field. And just look very disjointed. Players wanting to pass, and they're opposite. Outside men are oh, chasing there a kicks. biting allegation? Wow. Wow. I've got an allegation of a bite. Is a bite? Say here, are you going through with this or? Mate, that's slobber, that's not sweat. He pushed his arm in. Look at that. Little mark there. Anyway, that's Stay slack, away. mate. Well, we're going to report it, but wow. you tell me if you've seen it. It was Jack got, does he wear a mouth guard? Already. Walk away. He's going to do it. Walk away. Oh. Let us deal with it. Let us deal with it. That is slobber, that's not sweat. I'm not putting any really, I don't, I don't know if you're a Can the referees penalise on the field or can this just... Is there a bite or there's... There's a bite, mate. Come on, come on. There's a mark there, but you tell me what you're seeing. Tyson Gamble saying it. there's a bite. Well, you could see the indentation on the wrist, yeah? Yeah, so I've got one line there's been a bite. This is a potential send-off. Gamble's got him around the head. Well, old school players would say, well, don't have your hand around his head. But you can see the ball. Wow. This is a big, big moment. This is a you sensational moment in the season. Yeah, I can't move my mouth. He's got to move his arm. He's on report. That's it. Well, how, how, do, you, how do you differ? So Jack yeah. White and biting down, or is that just the force that Gamble's pushing into Jack White's teeth? Well, that, that, yeah, I mean, that, that is, that's the question. I mean, you, I mean you, that's a judicial issue, isn't it? You, well, you can't make that decision right now. If that was a deliberate biting act, or... 
Well, I think, I think they've handled this well. Jack White is going to play the ball. They're going to let the match review. Well, there's no penalty. No. I think that's OK. Let someone else deal with it later on. It's on report. And they are complicated matters around body, etc. Yes, Brad? Well handled by the referee. They are complicated matters, but in the first place, he shouldn't have his hand near his face. Well, maybe that ignites the Newcastle team. It certainly ignited the fans in a very contentious moment. Fogarty, he has kicked the ball so sweetly. Feels like it hangs up in the air forever, and the kick chase is just spot on. I mean, Jack, it, it'll be a judicial thing, so we don't want to say too much, but Jack Whiten didn't deny that, that he bit on the arm. He said, well, his arm's up around my mouth, I can't breathe, or... I'm trying to get him away, so... In, in some ways, I agree with Brad Fittler. You, you can't have your, your forearm banging away at someone's mouth or their face. Mm. But you cannot bite someone. Fitzgibbon, what a ball! Kurt Man back here! Poker! Here they come. And this is something in the first half we've noticed. The centres are coming right up in front of their halves to put pressure on Ponga. So this time they hit the short man in Fitzgibbon. Harvey Norman replay, watch the right centre come right up past the ball, which isolates the halfback, and then Kurt Mann comes around in space. And then who else? Tonga, it's game on. Nice play by the Knights down the left-hand side. And Kalen Ponga lining this one up. Bring it back to a four-point deficit. Oh, that's brought the crowd into it. Oh. They're going right off now. First one after half time. It might be enough to energise the Knights, and there's a penalty after points. Quick tap. Oh no, he's gone back. He's off the mark. Just if we can go back and watch the reaction of Daniel Saf Saifidi, the charge, and when the penalty is blown, just watch his reaction. That's what the Knights need. Someone charging to inspire the rest of the team. Just challenge. Just run a bit harder. This is where they've got to lean on their captain. And he's their most creative player, Kalen Ponga. They're going to get the ball to Kalen numerous times this set. Two, three times. Get him into the action. <laughs> what an atmosphere. This is spine tingling. It really is. Daniel Safidi. Down inside the 40. Crossland, Croker, Hetherington. Still going. Great surge. Kalen sweeping around to the right. Gamble finds him now. Oh, shocking ball. Oh, Dom Young. I'll tell you, Dom Young hadn't have scooped that in. Schiller almost would have picked it up and scored. Oh, 
Tonga not as comfortable on the right-hand side of the field. He likes to come down this left side. This is going to be the challenge. Who's going to finish their sets off? Gamble kicks. They're all muttering through. Oh, Kotrick and Rapido. There was almost a tangle-up. Surging defence. This is deafening. Gee, it feels like an origin game now. Schiller, with two tries, is stopped by Croker. Now White and all, he'll get a reception. This is a big defensive set by the Knights, and Starling picks up 10 metres. That'll relieve a little bit of pressure. But Fogarty, he's got to whack this as far as he can from his own side of the 30. Ponga on the fly. Oh, that was quite a tumble. We have Thompson back on. Phoenix Cross on back at half back. They're, they're lacking that real dominant number seven. There's the error there from Tyson Brazil. Brett Fiddler. Yeah, Leo Thompson, he was their fourth interchange. Mariotta was up for the Raiders, but he gave his card back. He would have been the sixth interchange. So, yeah, we've 28 minutes to go. That would have been pretty lean for the Raiders. Only two interchange left. Yes, well, that error. Allows Ricky Stewart a little bit of time before he, he needs to uh, relieve one of his big men or white. Well, he's going to cop a bollocking for the rest of the afternoon. Join us as Australia's most exciting sport, rugby league that is, is unleashed on the sports and entertainment capital that is Viva Las Vegas. Head to NRL.com slash Vegas to get your tickets. Go and check all that out. That will be a wonderful experience for players and fans. Fogarty, Rapina. Kotrick dives on the loose ball. They've used four tackles. Oh, Fogarty doubled. Because that was six to go. Get away with one there, Newcastle. Frawley. Rapida, Rapida's coming. Pressure on Ponger, he flew and took it spectacularly. He covered the ball well as well. Rapina was the target and just got his body between the ball and Rapina. Kalen Ponger. Oh. And this is something Phil Gould spoke about a few weeks ago about the Raiders. They play at the ball, they get hands in there, challenge, and they get their right, forearms in. Here from um, Canberra, okay? The dispute in the, from Canberra. Disputing the decision of a strip. Yeah, but I thought it was strip, so. Just looking to determine if there's intent to strip here or whether it's a loose carry. Well, it's Tom Starling and gets his hand underneath. Is he just making a tackle or is he playing at the football? Mm. This is going on a while. I don't know if it's Tom Starling's arm um, comes up under the ball, cupped and plays at the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. Cut. No more challenges. Mm. It's the first time I've heard, heard that. But he gets his hand. So you can see his here. hand gets in that position. Oh, poor. Let's grab a best of relief. What a final. What a game. This is just absorbing. What a test of the players in a high-pressure environment, Thompson. 
Now Elliott, back onto the ground. Gamble Ponga, Ponga slices! Ponga accelerates! He's got Yellow on the outside! He comes back in! He beats them all! Ponga is done again! Young with the finish, the Knights are back level! Ah, oh, when your season's on the line and you need something special, you go to your gun. And that's Kalen Ponga for the Knights. Injected him out wide, used his running game. He's fast, he's got good speed. Adam Elliott does a great job. Harvey Norman replay. Gamble gets the ball to Ponga, and then it's a foot race. And sets up Dong Dom Young. Just gets inside Rapana, and he finishes it off. We're all leveled up here. Well, he had plenty to do there, Dominic Young. He still had to beat Rapana. Comes back inside, and you can go back to that decision, and he gets the ball. Then look at the crowd in the background. Watching Ponga streak down that sideline must be so good that side of the field. But it's that decision on the strip, Telstra fan camp, with the Bradman best the previous set. They got the Knights to set start a penalty and then they went to work. 24 tries in the season. What a year, what a finish by Dom Young. He's, he was the, uh, the rake by Tom Starling, which got the Knights a penalty. And then Tonga went to work. Watch the acceleration. But then watch the reaction of the crowd. Watch the crowd in the background. Look at them, all on their feet, screaming. And Dominic Young, he finishes it off. Well, he's got a big kick here, Kalen Ponga. He's had a big second half. He scored a try, and he set the try up to level it up. Now he's got a kick to put his team, put his team in front. It's swirling. It's coming. risen to the occasion. Newcastle superstar has helped to claw back the lead and the home team are ahead. Back comes Safidi. Brad Fiddler, this is as loud as anything I've heard all year. Yeah, it's been incredible. It's deafening the sound, especially when something great happened like that when Kalen Ponga streaked over to the south. And the, what's the, what corner is that? It's the, the northeast. northeast corner. There are all the fans over there. When the flags go up, it's an incredible sight. It all turned around the biting incident. The crowd went from a civil crowd enjoying their footy to a pack of savages. I don't know if there's anything civil about the footy, but they're into white now, aren't they? My goodness. You'd almost say they're vampires. He's done it again. Young, down the wing. Gagai. Got the inside. Gagai. The Knights are skidding around. Wow. Well, they've got back to back with the Newcastle Knights. And again, they inject their captain down the right-hand side of the field. Dom Young, he makes the line break. And Gagai, well, he's had an unhappy afternoon, but he's there when it counts. Harvey Norman replay, plays nice and straight, Tyson Gamble. Ponga with beautiful hands, and then Gagai back up the inside. He'd be happy, happy with that one, Dane. Geez, that pass from Tyson Gamble. Watch this, he doesn't even look. He doesn't even turn his head. Look at that, that is. Incredible. And then Dominic Young, and then Dane Gagai. It's only his fourth try of the year, but a very important one. And the Raiders were running downhill in the first half. Well, the Knights are in the second half. Big kick coming up again from Ponga. The Telstra fan camp, they will be swinging off the rafters. Have a look at them. Have a look at them. Well, everyone does their job. Everyone in the play does their job. Gamble goes right into the line, engages the defensive line. Gagai, he was the lead runner. He ended up scoring the try. Quality on the passes. The ball from Ponga to Dom Young. Oh, he's ignited this game, Caelan Ponga. His back half of the season's as good as anything we've seen. 
Well, we, we saw Hayne light it up in 09, and we saw Turbo do it, but I've got to say... Oh, it's off the steelwork. Getting the sets rolling forward. Leo Thompson now. Oh. oh my gosh. Maybe they'll go back the other way next time. What about that one? That's shades of Paul Harrigan back in the days. Well, the Chief would be proud of this. Here's the try. Look at that. In the bottom of the screen. Look at him winding up now. He's had a big half security, hasn't he? Here's the loudest Newcastle chant of the afternoon, Elliot. Kalen. Trapped by Rapana. And Ponga runs down and takes him out himself. Uh, Kalen. That's a statement. You got a dusty shoulder, mate. Oh, what now? They square up on him, and Safidi was barking as he got up off the ground. And now a Schiller in the middle of this. Because, yeah, it's one thing to be really aggressive. You have to be effective up defensively. And you can't lose your head. This game's only a six-point margin. I know Newcastle have, have scored three after the break, but it, it's, still, it's still winnable if Canberra can find the form that they did in the first half. And Fogarty kicks high, and Kalen's there. He just faked to jump then, Kalen Ponga. He knew Tarpanay was on his on his front door. Daniel Safudi back from play two. And Gagai after an inauspicious first half. And showing his experience in the second half. Marzi's dropped the ball. And the momentum's about to shift. Well, Danica, we've been talking about the remarkable turnout here. I could imagine it's a huge crowd number for uh, an afternoon that no one will forget. It is, Tomo. It's actually hard to describe just how incredible this atmosphere is, but there's 29,000 548 in attendance here this afternoon. And I have to say, out of all the finals matches we've been to this weekend, we're at Suncorp Stadium, we're at Penrith Stadium yesterday. This has been the loudest of them all. I just can't even begin to imagine what next week's going to be like in New Zealand with the Warriors fans. And then also, hopefully, they get a good turnout in Melbourne as well. Oh, my word. Well, we're at the business end now. Get to the footy. Tapanay. There might be a twist or two left in this. Wait, wait. Jamal Fogarty, probably with a dummy. Oh, from Zell. Closed off the inside and hit him solidly right around the ball. Three metres from the line, though. Hudson Young, back to Fogarty. Now, Mariotta is on the ground. Fogarty. He's had a fine game, the number seven. Wrapped up by Leo Thompson. Frawley. Touched back by Whiten. And he's gambled off the rebound. Hudson Young's got him. There's players scattered all over the field. The Phoenix Croslin's back on the 20 metre line on his haunches. Wow, Dominic Young. It was a chance for the Raiders. It was a nice kick from Frawley. 
Look at the players. Tap back. Harvey Norman replay. The ball goes up. Tap back by Whiten. And Tyson Gamble, he gets run down by Hudson Young. But then Dominique Young, once he gets into the clear, it's a foot race. Rapana, he can't quite get there. And Young, does he get the ball down? Oh! Just watch the crowd in the background. Watch them rise as one. Not the Raiders fans. Have a look at them screaming. Oh, what a sight. Tell me he gets the ball down. The free striding Dominic Young does all Strike the hard the work. Oh. It's all good. Oh. Wow, what a second half by the Knights. Brad? Well, the three best passes today have all come from Tyson Gamble. The two earlier ones to Kalen Ponga. Beautiful soft passes out in front. Allowed Kalen Ponga to get outside Jack Wyden once and skirt down that right hand side for the second for the second try. Absolutely beautiful passes. Nice and soft and that one was blind. I don't even know if he heard Dominic Young. He just felt Dominic Young and just nailed the pass. season. Tom, as I said in pre-game, I've been this ground since 1988. I think they're going short. Gee, that's a beautiful kickoff. It starts to blow back towards the Raiders. Dom's missed it. Canberra have got it. I don't think... I've, I haven't seen scenes like this that whole time. Lucky to play here in front of capacity crowds, but I've got to say today... I think it tops it all. Well, this is why the game needs a Newcastle team that's thriving, because it's only fans like this Newcastle supporter base that can provide what we're enjoying today. As Tarpanay goes short, here's Mariotta. And that right rule slipped over, and he would have got whacked by Bradman Best. Oh, he's going to get up. He's OK. Starling, one-headed scoop. Tarpanay. Crawley, dummies, scores. Did he get it down? I think he did. Now the game's alive. Well, that was too easy. Yeah. Running the ball on the last tackle. Everyone expecting a kick. They rushed up on the outside, Gagai and Young. And Matt Frawley. He just steps off his left foot. Just gets inside. Tyson Gamble. Harvey Norman replay. Last tackle, decides to run the football, they hang off. You can see on that, that clip there, Leo Thompson. He just clocks off for a second. You can see that, that end on again. You can see he just relaxes for a couple of steps, which opens up that space. The ball goes away. Watch Leo Thompson at 10. See, he just dawdles, dawdles, dawdles. And then he has to attack. you got to sprint to that threat. Freddie? Yeah, watch Hudson Young here. He does a great job of getting in the road, but not getting in the road. <laughs> not quite enough to get penalised, but enough to get in the road. This is a huge kick. Fogarty can bring this back to a six-point game. The pressure's a funny thing. He should kick this the majority of the time. And he has now. Jamal Fogarty lands next as for the Canberra Raiders. Knights 28, Raiders 22. Just under 13 and a half minutes remaining here. Six points of difference. Raiders 
13 and a half to play. The Raiders have got this back to a converted try. It looked like it was about to completely run away from them. Ponga just taking all the time possible. Here comes Mariotta. He's been good, Mariotta. Here's the Westpac red zone. Look at that. 32 play the balls wow. in the red zone compared to the Knights' eight. That's extraordinary. Oh, Gould is protesting something with the referee. Whitehead with a hit up now. 15 from the halfway. Rapina. Okay, across to White. White punches into a hole. Great covering tackle. Crucial tackle by Gagai. But Canberra marching up the field again here. Frawley across the ground. Wants to link up. He finds Gula. Best jammed in. Yeah, he covered the ball. Wrapped the ball. Big tackle, Bradman Best. Fogarty sprints away from the big man. They're expecting a kick. Back to uh, Whiten. Dinks it through. A juggle by Ponga. And he just reels it back in. That was a good set by Canberra. And the Knights got a lift. The momentum shift shifted. And they're out of his feet, the Knights. This has been brutal. The physicality in this game. It's taken a toll on both teams. Elliot. Shy of his own 30. Croker now. That's a good run. Not a great kick by Caelan. He finds Rapina, who links up with Schiller, tries to pour into a gap. Gagai with another big tackle. Oh, they're on the attack, the Raiders. 12 minutes to go, 11 and a half minutes to go in this, this game. They want to draw level now. Timokov. Penalty. Quick tap. Timokov takes off. He's beaten two of them. They are not giving this away. Tapanay now revs up, crashes into the defence 10 metres from Newcastle's line. Could they level this? Frawley, White and Gagai again. White not loads, Rapid is there, Rapid is surges, wanted to get it around the corner. The ball was shut down. They've only used three tackles though. No six again. The Knights player played at the arm and not the ball, Mariotta. Fitzgibbon with the tackle. Starling, he's played big minutes. Fogarty sends it underneath to Gula. Tackle, tackle five. They're deep to the right. They're going to run it. They head that way. Fogarty, Timokol. Timokol's hard to stop, but look at the Knights jumpers get around him and they've stopped him. Yeah, not a bad place to turn the ball over. Up against the fatigued opposition. The Knights have got to come out of their own corner. What a game. Oh. Ten minutes to go. One of the best, Billy. And the Knights are out on their feet. Oh, down on their haunches. Can't protect this lead. They've got to keep attacking. This will be physical. I'll be racing off the line here. The Raiders, Bradman Best. And Gagai picks up a handful of metres only. They've got to be clean here, Canberra. They can't give away a penalty. Jacob Safiti, oh, good run. And buffered it into uh, Hudson Young. And Croker had his leg swept away by Starling. Gamble, not the cleanest of strikes, close enough to the sideline, Schiller with the catch, Gagai leads the chase, he's trying, the one-on-one steal here. 
couldn't nick the footy. Oh, Whiten, oh, he went headlong into Crossland there and left him on the ground and now Rafferty with a run. Shift out to Whitehead. Good ball, really good ball. Kotrick. The defence covers. Kurt Mann over there. And uh, Tarpanay, look at his foot movement. And Whitehead now. They're throwing everything at them here, Canberra. Fogarty, all the green jumpers out to the left. That's where the kick goes. There's pressure everywhere. The ball bounces. The ball bounces up in the air, and Young has to swat it over the back. Well, Jamal Fogarty didn't want to kick it too far wide. That's where Dom Young is. He's got the advantage with the height. He just dropped it short, just on the outside of the post. Beautiful kick here into space. No Knights went up for the ball. Dangerous situation. And the Raiders. They'll get a clean set, a full set of six. Will they go short? Kalen Ponga looking. He's going to go long. Short. No, he's not. Not long, not short. Long short. That was a tweener. Whiten. Oh, he's, he's the butt of all the animosity of the Newcastle. Oh, he's made a mistake. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh. What are you doing? Can't go play on. Challenge it. He was shouting already. He was already shouting. All right, we have a captain's challenge from Kalen, just being the decision of um, ruck interference. Well, at the very least, they'll get they'll get a minute to get oh, the, the oxygen back into their lungs. Mm. The Knights. Lachlan Fitzgibbon's right hand makes a second effort into the ball and makes ruck interference. The challenge is unsuccessful. Well, the other thing, it, it gives the Raiders yeah, an opportunity to have a committee meeting and no get the key, key position players together. They're all on the same page Come now. On. You see Fogarty and Rapana, they're communicating. For Canberra to even be in the game at this stage, okay. given what happened after halftime, is remarkable. If they could draw level, it would be one of the bravest performances in the club's history. It heads out to Cotrick. Great hustle in the Newcastle defence. They all got over there. But there is a green line all stacked out to the left. Fogarty, the first receiver, sends it for Tarpanay to take it to midfield. Pretty much under the black dot here. Options both sides. Left to Fogarty. Hudson Young can't offload. Back foot, back foot. Wait, wait, wait. Mariotta. Oh! Huge play this one. Number five on the inside. Rapina bounced away from one and two. Lost the ball. Yeah, great defence, Newcastle. This has been a great feature of their game over the last nine weeks. Whilst they've been on this, this winning streak, goal line defence, and it stands up when they needed it. Is it Fernie's Crosland who makes the tackle here? Oh, great effort. Hasn't he found his position? He's been one of the night's best. Obviously, we talk Tonga and these players, but Fernie's Crosland. He has just worked himself to a standstill in the last 10 weeks. Still five and a half to go. There's the interchanges. One left for the Knights, two for the Raiders. Fitzgibbon backs into the line. Oh, a oh, mistake. A mistake. Yeah, no challenge either. Open the door for the Raiders again. A big thanks to everyone who purchased So Gula comes from the field. Solo out there. There's interchange number seven. Daniel Safidi is stalking the sideline too. What have we got? Five minutes to go. And he's got interchange eight. That'll be the last. Mm. 
meter routes. Look at that. A oh. few over 200. And all the outside backs. Oh, Rapina has just had it. He has given every ounce of what he has. He's been exceptional. Kimikov. This is a fight for survival. The last four and a half. The loser bows out. The Raiders all fire everything they've got in the artillery here. Elliott comes out of that tackle worse for wear. Solo played it on the 20. Fogarty and Forley and Young. One bounce pass. Schiller's got it. Did he bobble it? No. Up together. Right here. Wait. Now Hudson Young. Inside the 10. If they can't get a try, they've got to try and get the ball back here. It's Fogarty. He's going to kick up high. He's got Timiko out there. He's got Kotrick out there. Margie juggles it. He no lost in goal, but they will get the ball back, provided that they don't go Not short gone. here, no Newcastle. Out. Maju nearly overran that. We had it in his hands. And he just couldn't stick the catch above his head. Stay behind. That's an awkward kick by Potter. Oh, it's not back. It was a half a metre from going over the sideline. And Hudson Young is hit hard. Well, there's a little bit of respite from that, that long, awkward kick and a, an inspired chase by Gamble. Mariana, three to play. Three to play. That'll mean two sets for Canberra, one for Newcastle. Fogarty brings Rappiner onto it. Now Timikos, so dangerous. They've got to play again straight away. One side to another, Frawley gets forward by Gamble. Now Tapanay, he wants to get an offload away, and he does, it's Whitehead. Whitehead, oh, Sterling scored! Wow. The Raiders are going to lock us up with a kick from next to the post. This is a Herculean comeback. Well, Joseph Tapanay. Moment of brilliance, offload. And Tom Starling. And Fogarty's going to have an opportunity to level this up. Harvey Norman replay. It's Joseph Tarpany. He drifts across field. Elliot Whitehead, he's on the receiving end of the offload. And then produces a beautiful offload himself to Starling, who scores the try. There's space in the middle. Whitehead and Starling gets down nice and low. We're going to be level. And what happened here, Tyson Gamble is at marker and he comes left, but then he has to go back to his right edge to organise his edge. Watch Tyson Gamble, first marker. The ball goes away and he goes back to his right edge to organise his left edge. And then the ball comes back on the inside and because he was going back to his edge, that opened up that space. What a finish we got. Oh, oxygen, please. And that's just for you. Ricky loves it. Well, he's not in front, Jamal Fogarty. He's about 10 metres to the right of the post. Mate, it, it, it put this over in his slippers. Extra time. <laughs> golden point. So it is a golden point. Just a, just a reminder in finals. We firstly, we go to five minutes each way of extra time. And if we're, we're not separated, then we're off to golden point. Now, what happens with interchange after? There's an extra, yeah, an extra two, two, I believe. Brad Fittler, how about this? Well, that was incredible. When the try was scored, the whole stadium went from a sound like it was a rock concert to like you're in a library. Everyone was just shocked and stunned. There wasn't a sound in the whole stadium. Now they're just getting their heads around what's about to happen. It is two extra interchanges. We've still got a minute 17 to go. This is one of the great finals. Well, 
don't know if the Raiders can get an opportunity to score a point. But what they can do is they can give the Knights one. They've got to complete this set, the Raiders. Tarpanay. Now, we'll bring you the news at the completion of the footy as you appreciate, because this is elimination finals and this is as good as sport gets. He's got blood coming from the nose, Tarpany. Oh, oh, no. He might get a penalty, too. Oh, absolutely. He might get a penalty absolutely. with 40 seconds to go. Oh. It's going to be a Canberra penalty, I think. It is. So if Fogarty can bang one upfield here, they may well get a chance to kick for one point. Well, they got 41 okay. seconds. Come on, your time. Well, the time's on now. Well, that's about two tackles, three tackles, Bill. Yeah. Oh, it's a good kick. They'll take one or two in. Oh! Canberra fans, get ready for this! Well, for all he's kicked a, a two-point field goal in round four. Tarpany's got to come from the field. In round four, Matt Frawley, he kicked a two-point field goal on this ground. So they got Fogarty and Frawley. Well, last night in the Cronulla game, we saw two charge downs by, was it Tedesco and then Luke Cleary, which were amazing efforts. 28 seconds. A hit up, maybe two, and then a shot to go through to week two of the finals. There's Mariotta. 20 seconds. It's a super run. One more. He's been enormous, Mariotta. 15 to play, Solo now. They're setting it up. Solo wants a quick play of the ball. Fogarty. This is it right here. Fogarty with time, it's charged now. It was Croker that came pretty out. And now he steadies for a second shot. Was that White the fall? It's taken here at the back. Nice. And we're going to extra time. Oh my gosh. What a game of football. This is honestly one of the best finals the game has ever seen. 28 all. Now, whoever wins the toss for extra time, running with the breeze will be huge. Absolutely huge. I'll get in, I'll do their breathing exercises. Reset, calm down, Freddie. Just listen to Dave, the ground manager, and Ashley Klein going through the process. They're going five each, five each way. I'll come together and have a toss. Ashley Klein, he's just getting his thoughts together. The Safiri boys are pretty vocal in the night's huddle. I think that Dane Gagai is just talking to him, let's just hold the ball. Whatever happens here, we just need to complete sets. Yeah, we took, yeah, five minutes guaranteed, regardless of what it's like. Head him up, Kayla. Yeah, people toss the point again if we get there. Alright. Tails is the call. That's a tail. Got the option earlier to kick off or choose which way you want to run. Oh, they got the breeze. Oh, the Raiders have taken the breeze. Yeah, that's a good move. So, five minutes each. Hey, Freddie, Freddie, how is the breeze? With is it is it, it eased off a bit? Definitely died down. From the start of the game, it's gradually waned over the afternoon. You can still feel it. You can still feel it, but nothing like it was at four o'clock in the afternoon. Mate, how's the atmosphere down there? Yeah, it's incredible. I think everyone's just taking a bit of a breather. Half half the stadium standing up and stretching their legs. The other half are just sitting, just controlling their heart rate. <laughs> Adam O'Brien's on a respirator. Well, the big difference in this situation, is it's not golden point. It's not the first point wins. There'll be 10 minutes of football here, five minutes each way. You've got to settle into another 10 minutes of footy. The big question is, is do you take the one point when it's on offer or, or do you go for the try and build pressure? What do you do, Billy? I mean, do you do well, on the board? Well, I, I think if you can get in front, you get in front. Yeah. And you can play the field position game. Well, the Newcastle crowd, they have been through every possible emotion. And Canberra oh. have been quite 
magnificent. 28 all. Five minutes each way, and if we're still locked together, it's first point wins. How these players can still pick their legs up is beyond anyone's imagination. Timakov. Well, there's people cheering in New Zealand. Oh, they wanted to go to Golden Point. They want to go to midnight, don't they? What a try by Starling to get us back level. It's a good first set by Canberra. It's a testing kick for Ponga, who has to make ground of the ball. Yeah, it wasn't all that high, but. In decent field position, Kalen Ponga playing the ball in 23 metres out from his own line. Now, Newcastle have been guilty of making a few mistakes out of yardage so far this afternoon. They have to lock this up like it's a safe. We have to keep playing. You've got to keep moving the ball. You can't let the Raiders' defence rest. We're going to still have the ball movement, move forward, support. Not like that. Ball's got to be in front. Attention to detail. This is all off-season. The last 10, 11 months, you've been working on your skills, your passing. And just this pass, right? It's just half a foot behind Tonga. You can't get those wrong. Well, what do you do here, Joey? You get five minutes each oh, way, did you? Attack. Try. You, you get the try? You're going for tries. No field goal? No. No way. Going for tries. Well, let's see whether Canberra think the same way as Andrew Johns here because they are going to be within one point range. Do they get ahead in the game? Well, if you look at last night's game, Roosters and Sharks, Sam Walker kicked the field goal with seven minutes to go. Mm. I think if you can get in front, you get in front. Mariotta in his first final. Has been well, he's sensational. Been, he's power. been one of the best on the field. Fogarty, Crawley, White now runs it across them. Do they want it? Does anyone go at the back to get ready? Not at this stage. Fogarty and uh, Starling now. Robin is there. A kick for Kotrick. Kotrick with Marju. Marju knocked it back and Bradman Best comes down with it. So they've, they've just ignored the one point there. They had it point blank if they wanted it, but they opted against. Yeah, it might have been a mistake. Ma oh, Marju with a pressure ball. Hey, Goodness. This is why you play. This is why you work so hard for these games, for these moments. Kurt Mann with a tough run. They're not finding metres easy to come by here in Newcastle. They'd love a look at the other end of the field. Here's Croker. And Gamble from inside 40. It's a flat one. Good hands by Rapina. Oh, he's cramped up, Rapina. He's lame. I'm assuming it's cramped. It's a wonder there's not a few more in the same uh, situation. Now, Schiller's got two tries. And at the end of this set, he may go for a field goal. Patrick dancing. Well, they've exhausted three of their tackles here. Can 40, they get close enough? 40 seconds. Five minutes each way. Then golden point. They shift through the hands, wrap it up. Tackle Take him on, again. get rid of the cramp. Tyson Vazell, big tackle. Now Fogarty's backing away, thinking about a field goal. White and goes, boom! And that is a high bomb. This is big time pressure. Kalen with an unbelievable take. Oh, oh he lost the ball. Hit the ground. Eight seconds to go. They've got to pack this, Canberra. They'll get one shot. Three seconds. Wow! It looked like he'd taken it, but it just slipped out as he hit the ground. Well, here's, here's the take. Kalen, he took the ball and then fumbled it. 
as he hit the ground. Well, Fogarty, he's not even at halfback. He's standing back ready for the field goal. You get a so, high shot here. Fogarty, he's back. So it's going to be Matt Frawley to feed the scrum. And they'll throw it straight back to Fogarty. Well, Dominic Young has gone in. He's going to be the one putting pressure on, but he's a right foot kicker. They need someone on the other side. Ball back to Fogarty. He's 21 out. It's charged down again. That is inspired stuff by Tyson Gamble. 28 all. Five more minutes of extra time. And then Golden Point in elimination finals footy. And just a reminder, stay with us. We'll have the news straight after this game. Brad Fittler, I don't think we've seen a final like this for years. Well, what a way to finish the first five minutes in extra time. Another charge down from the Knights. Once again, everyone just sits down. A few of them stretching their legs, getting ready for another five minutes. There'll be a lot of people sleeping well tonight. Well, the Raiders are kicking off. There he is. I'd love to go inside that mind and what he's thinking. I need to move the ball, get him one on one. Well, he's got to be thinking this is my time. Yeah. He's got to be thinking, I want this moment. Give me the ball. I've got this. Well, it's universal applause from the crowd. I know it's very one-eyed here in favour of Newcastle, but both teams deserve enormous credit for what we've seen for 85 minutes. We've got definitely five to go, and then Golden Point, maybe. Look at that look. He knows what's at stake. He knows his responsibility. Five minutes to go. The winner powers on. The loser's season is over. This is a game right out of the box. Hetherington with the return from the kickoff. Now Dom Young, another Newcastle champ. We must be up in the double figures from crowd chanting this afternoon. They've been so vocal. And Elliot dumped in a massive shot. Here's Daniel Safidi. Tackle four, 12 from the halfway line. Gamble, away to Gagai. Tries his customary in and away, but he's wrapped up by Whiten. Gamble kicks high in the air. It's away from Rapina. He's got to make ground to the ball. He takes it well. Oh, he's cramped up again. So the Knights finally get it down the other end of the ground. It feels like they've played the last 20 minutes in their own half. Force for run, 15 from the halfway. Three tackles used. Three and a half minutes until we're in the golden point if we need it. Brad Fittler. Just news on Joseph Tarpanay when he had the bloody nose, he was called off for a HIA. So he won't be able to go on till for another three minutes. Oh. How much would they love to have him out there? Well, Timmy goes in back play. This has gone out in the full. Oh, oh, there's a big mistake. Advantage Knights. Yeah, Timiko can't run. He's got cramp. What he can't got? even stand up. We've got three minutes to go. I'd be thinking field goal here, Bill. Oh, absolutely. I'd be thinking field goal. Hey, Brad, um, now Timiko's in trouble here. Have they got another replacement? And the Raiders. Yeah, well, Trey Mooney's just Mooney's got his here. card. So he, he's up. He can't run. They've got to attack him. Bradman, call the ball. He's like he's in a walking race. Tip to your halves. You've got to be looking up. Wow, he can't move. Surely they go there. Leo Thompson through the middle. Well, Bradman best ain't saying anything. Bradman, talk to your halves. Oh, there was an overlap there of Gagai. Could have got the ball on. He broke out of the tackle, though. He comes back to the middle. Gagai trying to find an opening. He only got through here. The Knights right in position. Crossland sprints from dummy half. Back to Brazil. He beat one. He goes towards the post. This is it if they want. Go They've got to go to best. Crossland, Kalen. Back to Potter, he's under too much pressure. He beat one, he's trying to set it up out right. There's a six in oh, he's dropped it. He dropped the ball. It's a it's penalty. penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. We're not, we're not going to argue. 
Hudson was offside. I was giving six again. That was a six again call. He has got involved. And uh, Ponga lost the ball. He so it's a penalty. Now the trainer's with Kalen, who's copped a knock. Can we, can we have any more driver here? Well, he looks in trouble, Kalen. Yeah. Well, can he kick? Come on. He was offside. Yeah, Hudson Young was offside, but well, Kalen stands up. He's going to kick the goal. Oh, it's a high oh. shot too from Freddie. Well, the bunker should will come into play here and be looking at this because if he gets called for a HIA, he'll have to come straight off and spend 15 minutes. They're going to get a penalty right in front. Kalen Pong is going to take the conversion. What a finish. This has been one of the greats. Oh. They're going to talk about this game for years and years. I don't think I've had an afternoon at football like this. Now the Raiders are still arguing. Chat going on on the field. Gagai, Hudson Young. There's still going to be a minute and a half to go after this conversion. Ponga for 30 28. The Knights are ahead. Well, a minute 25 on the clock now. Canberra have got to go short to try to get the ball back and score a try. He kicked to his left last time. They need Dominic Young up on the 40-metre the mark. He had to load up that left side. At the moment, only Tyson Frizzell is there. Well, your season comes down to here. It comes down to this moment. They can get this ball back, the Knights. It's their game on the other hand. The Raiders get it. Bogarty, up it goes. He gets the swirl on it. It blows back towards the Raiders. Young has lost it backwards. It's cleaned up by Newcastle. Oh, hit in the ribs. Leo Thompson has the ball. Now Frizzell, well, they, they can't use a whole minute here. They've got to try and get the ball upfield, you'd reckon? Well, they'll use the best part of it. Yeah. Well, he's going to get, they're going to get... Tackle two, do not waste time. They're going to get a warning. Do not waste time. Tackle two. All right, ready? Play the ball. Shot, Hail Mary. Ponga, he's tackled just over the halfway. This there. is it. Time off. Time off. It didn't help him. Adam and Elliot Wait, laid Elliot, on the ground. Off. He just had to play the Elliot, ball Elliot, so he could kick off. the ball out there. Two plays. This is it. Can Canberra manufacture a miracle? Jamal Fogarty, Matt Frawley, Jordan Rapida floats a pass out to 